Okay, number 14 in your classwork for views and drawings of 3D solids. Uh, we want to uh, draw the solid giving the top, front, and side views. So here we have uh, example A, and we uh, put transform these top, front, and side views into an isometric view. So this is your uh, front, this is your side, and this is the top uh, view. So as you can see, uh, we just move them uh, so that now we can imagine uh, starting to draw our uh, cubes as how they are uh, or appear in the solid. So uh, in order to uh, locate the uh, location of each cube, we want to find the intersection of three of these faces. So by drawing uh, the intersection from uh, this top uh, square, this front and this side, uh, the center of this cube ends up here. And we can do the same. So if we extend this uh, further down, we have this side and uh, this side that correspond to another cube in the back here. <coughs> now looking at uh, the next uh, top square, uh, this square. So we're going to extend uh, downwards. <coughs> and now uh, we want to look at the intersection from the front side and uh, from the side. So we have a cube uh, here. <coughs> Now, if we start to imagine the lattice that connects uh, these cubes, so we have uh, one here like this, uh, that's one connection, then uh, we can uh, make another connection, let's say uh, this way, diagonally, so it's not really connected uh, adjacent, it's more of a, on an angle, so one cube is going to be uh, here, uh, while the other cube is going to be uh, directly behind it, like this, uh, on a uh, touching just by the uh, corners here. Uh, so now let's look at the uh, next uh, top uh, square. So uh, look, peering down from this one, we have an intersection from the front and from the side here. So this one will correct, connect uh, directly to the side of uh, this one in the front. And uh, looking at the uh, top square over here, uh, now extending this one down, we have an intersection from the front, uh, from the bottom here. Uh, so this means that we have a lattice uh, looking uh, where we have three cubes uh, from the front that are visible. So we have uh, this one. Uh, which uh, depicts uh, this uh, center. <coughs> now uh, let's draw the uh, next cube. Uh, so that'd be this, this cube. So that'd be uh, directly in front of the last one we drew. Okay, so that's our next cube. Then uh, this one appears uh, directly uh, behind it, you can say. And uh, then we have uh, this pair of cubes that uh, are on the uh, diagonal from the last cube that we drew. So this one occurs uh, like this and uh, behind it. And uh, then there's one that rests on top of it. So we'll extend that upwards, uh, completing our solid for part A. Uh, now doing the same process for part B. So looking at this uh, back square, we'll extend it downwards. So we have an intersection uh, here and here from the front and side and top. Uh, then we have another intersection here and here from the front side and top. And then a third one from uh, here. So we have uh, three all in a row uh, from top to bottom. <coughs> Uh, they're all in the back. Now we can look at uh, this square. So we'll extend this downwards. Uh, so then we have an intersection from the front and from the side here. Uh, so we have uh, that as one of the centers for a cube. Uh, and that is, uh, we have one more uh, from this top. So that'll be at the bottom here. We'll have another uh, center of a cube uh, located there. Uh, now looking at uh, this uh, top square, we'll extend this one downwards. So we have a intersection uh, here 
and another one, uh, let's see if this is top, uh, okay, another one will be here. So basically, uh, we have uh, these cubes are connected like this, uh, then we have this extension and that uh, lonely one in the back uh, underneath it all. <coughs> now, uh, let's look at the last, the last top one. So looking at this one, uh, we'll have an intersection uh, with the front here and the side uh, here. So there's a lonely cube out in the front. Uh, and all these uh, connections uh, are just the uh, lattice connections. Uh, so now uh, let's go ahead and draw in the cubes that form around uh, this lattice, this, uh, these centers. So for the first one, we have a cube out in the front. Let me draw that a little lower. <coughs> so we have one cube out in the front. Now we have this cube uh, that's behind it. And then we have this cube that's located uh, behind this one. And uh, these two cubes appear on top of the ones that we already drew. So we'll incorporate them like this, extending the top. Now we want to draw uh, this one that appears behind it and this uh, this hidden red one that we have in the back. Uh, there's not really a good way to draw that one, uh, but we can just uh, depict, uh, I guess, here that uh, this one is, is the lonely red one in the back. Uh, and we also have this uh, last red one that sits on top. Uh, so we'll draw it uh, like so. And this completes our solid for uh, part B.